Okay, today is April 16th, 2021. It is a Friday. I'm outside of the Hyatt Hotel and I think it's Lincoln Park area. Um, I got these. I'm just covering up the names. I got this for the School of Law, Deadman School of Law. It's um, for a student. I had to make 40s for students. I had such a hard time with these. I had four lines, and I realized the uh, it wouldn't fit underneath this hoof. <laughs> so I had to do these like <laughs> five times. Like, this is ridiculous how long it took me to do these. But I figured out how to do it. Every job is like starting all over again because I had to raise because some of the hoofs would, would, wouldn't go da went down too far. So I had to raise up the hoof so I could slide this underneath it. Um, they redesigned it to do a, a line, um, so it was four lines, so now it's three, so, got this done, delivered that today, <laughs> a lot of work, um, this is something new I came up with, this is a sticker to put on laptops and vehicles, oops, dropped it, oh, <laughs> turns out there's nothing sticky on the back, oh, that's an issue, so I gotta trade that one out for another one, but this is, Design I have um, young lady at the Chopin's office. I'm going to give her this for her laptop. Oh, this is for Tariq. He works in the hotel. I told him if I got a deal with the hotel, I would get him the getting black back getting black to business T-shirt. So that's for him. I'm dropping it off. Uh, what else happened? Oh, yes. Yeah, so I got an email from today. You know my my website. I got a submission. I'm thinking last time I got a submission from somebody, it was basically to do some free work for them so i wasn't excited about it but i was like you know what i need to be this is before i open the email i was like um you know last time i got out, i was doing some free work for somebody so i wasn't excited about it I was like, well so you know what be optimistic you know you don't know open email find out open it up and i started reading it and it says it's from um a guy named samuel at value entertainment so they got my stickers and they want to know more about my products so i'm like oh wow so they got it and they want some more so i send them um uh, just a price range of what what I'm offering. So we'll see if we hear back from them. But that was kind of cool. Like I heard back from you know I, my goal along was to do business with Value Entertainment. I got them to show my product on their on their uh, on their podcast, and I see it in the videos. I'm very grateful for that. Um, but I'm never satisfied. So next was uh, okay. How can we do business together? So I made the stickers for them to go on the laptop. I don't think I have any in here because I gave them all the way but I, I, sh I had them in another video no I sure don't have any here but I had them in a uh, uh, earlier video and I showed them oh well I was talking about stuff I don't have but yeah so I heard back from them so we'll see what happens going forward see if we can do some business together that would be my ultimate goal it's, well not my ultimate goal is not to do business with them it's to build a relationship with them to network from that so it's not a, it's, it's about Okay, can I get him to show my stuff on on this on the show? Did it? You know, put had one of my items in front of his a book he was selling, which was amazing to me. Then it was like, okay, will he take it with him to Florida? Okay, I'm still seeing my products in Florida. And it's next, okay, can we do business together? We'll see if that happens. But the ultimate goal is to that he would open doors for me to other people, um, you know, other people who I can network with and do business with. So it's all part of the process, and I'm enjoying it. Uh. So I gotta drop off these. Um, I gotta go to the hotel, drop off a sample there. Um, so I'm trying to get my second hotel deal. And uh, what else happened? Went to work last night. Back is kind of stiff. Oh, I think you're getting too old for this. Uh, pushing wheelchairs and lifting people up. Um, so my back is kind of stiff. But I made sixty dollars. No, seventy dollars. No, sixty-five dollars last night. So that's pretty good. Made made some money. Um, which is always good. All right, I'm going to go drop this off. Oh, I think there's something else I'm supposed to say. Oh, I talked to um, Monique at Rice. She's with the Black Alumni Association. And she told me about all of the networks that she's connected with and all the stuff she's trying to do on my behalf. Very grateful to her. Um, she's opened up a lot of doors for me at Rice. I'm not in Houston, so I don't have, you know, I don't have any connection to the institution, but she's well connected. She's going to be, she's been elected president over the national alumni chapter, so it's all about who you know. And I'm also looking out for two other black licensees. Um, I'm making sure that whatever shine exposure I get, they get equally. 
so that we can all benefit from this from this connection. I, I really love helping people out. I really love just being in a position where I'm really low. Like, I'm really low <laughs> now, but even though I'm very low, I can still help other people um, improve. So that's really, that's a whole nother level of just joy uh, for me. It's just being able to, um, to serve people. I mean, there was times I did mentoring programs and was doing stuff in the community when I was homeless. So. But you know, it always it always feels good to do good and help people, other other people out, and not from a position of strength and power. Because I'm, you know, I'm not doing anything really significant in the race yet. But it's good to help people while you're on the come up, as opposed to, you know, some people are like, well, when I get to, you know, when I get to successful, then I help people. Well, I don't, you know, you may never get successful. So now I'm experiencing success now at this stage, and I want to continue as I grow to help other black licensees to um, come up with, with me. And my my philosophy is this, is that if I find out you're a black licensee, let's have a phone call. You know, let me talk to you on the phone first. Give me a few minutes, let's talk, 15, 20 minutes. If we had a conversation, but first you gotta return my emails <laughs> or my direct messages. Then if so, I said, let's have a phone conversation, just a personal conversation, and I do wanna know if you're black. But I at least want to have, let's have a, a, you know, take the time out to have a phone call with me. After that, we're good. Then after that, it's just email. Like, I don't need, I don't, we don't need to talk again. We don't need to hang out. It was just like, let's have one phone conversation. And then every once in a while, we exchange emails if necessary. But the main thing is, I'm looking to promote these other black licensees. Um, and if you take the time to call me and 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 return my emails we're good like I'll, I'll do whatever i can to help you as far as i go i'm going to bring them with any opportunities i get i want to make sure that these guys get it it's not much i'm asking for and i want to deliver a ton of value to these guys that they were glad they took my phone call they glad they responded to my email and you know it's it's worth being connected to me and it makes me feel good it's not just for them it's for me i mean what it does for me and the way i feel about it is you get something described, you can't get put a price on it. All right, I think that's all I got to do for today. Let me go out there and do some work and stop chit-chatting on the phone. All right, I'm out.